<laughs> He's so cute. Who's cuter? Me or the kangaroo? How much is in there? You're hungry? Do you want some milk? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. It is really early in the morning, and I'm going on a little adventure today. And what I mean by adventure is that I'm going on another five hour trip to Chicago. Just a quick in and out, just like I've done. This is the third time to Chicago in less than two weeks, but this time at least Noah's coming with me. And by Noah coming with me, I mean. He's sleeping in the back seat. <laughs> but to be honest with you, it's gonna be really good for him to help me drive on the way back because we are just heading to Chicago just for a few hours. A bunch of my YouTube friends are in Chicago that were celebrating the start of the year and they asked me, Brian, could you bring a really cool animal and just kind of hang out with us at this really swank hotel? And I was like, sure, we could do that. So I have a kind of cool surprise animal that I'm meeting up with. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. It is gonna be a lot of fun and I hope that you have it absolutely amazing day. Let's go ahead and just push all our problems aside and have a great time for the next little bit. We will be checking in with Lori, seeing what's going on back at the shop. It's gonna be an absolutely epic day. Go ahead down in the comments and let me know how your day is starting. And while you're down there, can you smash that like button? Let's go ahead and get this day started with about a four and a half hour drive ahead of me. I'm not like a huge winter guy, although I can handle it. But I tell you what, this drive is pretty beautiful. Check this out. One eternity later. All right, guys, so I made it to the city of Chicago. It is so cold here, you have no idea. But I'm meeting up with my buddy Scott, who's over there getting the car parked. And look at, this is the animal that we got right here. Look at this cute little monkey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to introduce a bunch of people to this beautiful kangaroo. Uh, let's get inside because it is freezing out here. Alright, so guys, what the deal is, is you have to kind of smuggle things like this kangaroo into hotels. You can't do it. So Scott's just kind of hiding it in his coat right now. <laughs> so when we get upstairs, we'll be able to take it out and surprise everyone. Alright, so of course we are in Chicago with David Dobrik in the gang. And uh, you know, we just got a little kangaroo at the hotel. And David, what do you have in store for us? I love how the people that work here are just walking by. <laughs> <laughs> just saw the kangaroo. Too. You're gonna be surprised to see some of my friends with some animals, or just the kangaroo, uh, and Brian. I guess if you count him as an animal. Yeah, just the kangaroo. I love how I said that. But yeah, we're in a hotel in Chicago, so it's completely random, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. People love kangaroos. Everyone loves so, a kangaroo. He's a really nice kangaroo. It's a beautiful kangaroo. So uh, let's go have some fun, guys. Okay, so this is what a kangaroo in a hotel room is like. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, what do you think, man? He's adorable. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's like the best day ever. And he's really soft. All right, so guys, this is why we came to Chicago. We literally came all this way just to play with this little cutie right here. Of course, this is a little red kangaroo. His name is Skippy. He's eight months old. Look at how adorable he is. If you've ever wondered, like, do people bring kangaroos into hotels? Well, now you guys know because, yes, they do. And we've just been kind of tooling around from room to room with uh, David Dobrik's friends and just kind of introducing Skippy to them. It's absolutely been amazing and everyone has fallen in love with Skippy. So a little bit later, we're gonna just let Skippy hop around and see what happens with that. But isn't this thing absolutely adorable? Brian's the reptile master. <laughs> keep, keep your eyes closed, okay? No. Don't open them until I say it. Liza, what? I close the door. It's just you and the guy in there. Oh my God. It's just you in there. Close no. the door. No. Huh? No. Okay, I'm gonna have you open your eyes in three, two, one. Amen. Open your eyes. <laughs> it's a baby kangaroo! No, close the door! You can't stand here! Hi! Can I touch him? Yeah. Hi! Go play with him. He's gonna go into attack mode. Hi, cutie! He's really nice. Pet him. Pet him? Yeah, pet him. He's so soft. Isn't he cute? Ryan, this is the happiest you've ever made with. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so cute. Look at Are him. Are you allowed to pet him when he's eating? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so gentle. Wonderful. Did you start crying? <laughs> and like him? He's so cute. Who's cuter, me or the kangaroo? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. Um, How much is in there? You're hungry? Do you want some milk? 
And of course, uh, Scott, my buddy here, is the one that kind of hooked me up on the little kangaroo skippy here. Uh, he drove all the way to the Dells, Wisconsin to pick this up, so I appreciate his insane sacrifice for me, and uh, we've been having a good time, no? Anytime, man, anytime, happy to do it. So guys, we, uh, we literally let Skippy out to jump around the hallways, and then I had to chase him around. It was absolutely manic. Skippy is pretty fast, but uh, when we got him back in the boat, he seemed to be pretty good. It was good exercise for him, and a couple of the hotel staff saw him too, and they didn't seem to care. All right, guys, so I'm leaving the hotel. It was really fun. I mean, it, everyone just loved the kangaroo so much, and it was just cool to just kind of hang out with, with Noah and David and all the guys and this kangaroo running around the hotel room, jumping on beds and stuff like that. What a crazy thing. But hey, we are in Chicago, so we're gonna head out with Big Nick and Jonah, and we're gonna go get some Chicago-style pizza. You can't come to Chicago and not have Chicago-style pizza. And let me tell you what, guys, it is cold out here. It's like zero degrees, and everyone's making me go get the car uh, while they're waiting in the nice warm lobby of the hotel. Heading to a place called Luminati's Pizzeria. Looks awesome. All right, yeah, good. All right. Go for it. You're good. You're good. Awesome. All oh, guys, this looks good. Holy cow, Jonah, you ready? Okay. So, the first piece. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I think Jonah gets it. Noah gets it, and then I'll get it. I'll be last. Jonah can't even say anything. I don't even know how to talk at this point. <laughs> this is some good pizza, man. I'm gonna set this down and start eating. All right, guys, we are back here at the hotel. Jonah, be out. Yo. You good, bro? Thank you for the pizza. All right, man. Bro. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for freaking hey, our man, friends bro. out. It's good to see you, bro. It's awesome, bro. Well, let me I'll give a little up to Brian real quick on his channel. Make sure you subscribe. Give it a like. Brian is the best guy out there, and his son is going to be a future model one day. Look at this hair. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, so man. Like, you guys stay warm, all right? All right, all right for sure, man. See you guys. See you guys. Well, today on my list of things to do is going through all of our animals and putting more stuff on the website. So as I started doing that, I'm seeing some really amazing animals and I thought I would share a few of them with you today. First off are geckos. So I have a couple that are super cool that I saw that are going on the site, like this guy right here. I mean, the crazy orange on that, holy cow, is just simply amazing. And the only bummer is it's so hard to capture that in a photo. Like I do my best and I try to do it, but I'm telling you what, if you're doing anything with tangerine or orange or some of these really bright colors, it's so hard to do justice to them on the website. But again, that guy, I think, I was looking at the camera. I think it showed that thing is on fire. So I have another gecko for you guys that again, I just came across. This one actually is on the site right now, but it is a raptor white and yellow stripe. This thing is so cool. It's really light and it's got a super cool stripe on him. Again, I don't know that I'm necessarily doing him justice, but I thought that one was very unique looking. Kind of how I take it is I see so many geckos as I'm putting them on the site. Sometimes just the slightest difference really pops out to me and makes me go, oh wow, this one's kind of cool. And it's funny because normally when I say that, uh, as soon as I put it on the site, it's sold within a day or two. So I found one more gecko and this one unfortunately is not for sale as you can see and keep. I am going to be nice and keep it not for sale and that's just because Jessica likes it. Not so much Brian. But look at this beauty. And I'm not going to lie, I have to kind of agree that this thing is super cool. Look at that cute little face and the nose and the attitude. She's so angry. So vocal. Well, the next thing I'm going to show you guys are some scaleless Texas rats. Again, I'm working on getting these guys on the site. I don't have any individuals of the 2017s yet, but by the end of the week, I will have a bunch of them up there. While I'm going through, like I said, there's so many cool ones. These guys vary so much in patterns and colors, so I'm going to show you a couple today. Not only for the very cool coloring, 
that's going on, that bright orange and that red, but it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, as he bites me, but look at that. Some of these developed like a white on the side. Something kind of new, something we haven't seen before, along with one I'll show you here that is a razor that has an amazing amount of white on it. Look at this. And like I said, this one's a keeper, but it'll be interesting to see when we breed this one out if it's something that we can actually produce. Obviously the pigment and it is very different. That animal is super cool. And yes, I did approve the keep on that one. And guess what else we have? This is kind of exciting. We only produced a couple and we were waiting for them to be feeding before we put them on the site. But look at this. It is a little baby. It's a carpet python on a stick. <laughs> Who doesn't want a carpet python on a stick, right? No, he's just, they like to be on the stick. So I figured rather than taking them off, I would just show you the stick and show him right on there. But these guys are super cool. I've got two of these guys. Again, they're eating well, doing good, and we're gonna get them on the site later this week too. All right, so I stopped for gas really quick. I am somewhere in Indiana. I think I'm about four and a half hours from home. When I get home, I'm gonna head over to the building, just check up on the animals. I know that Lori and the crew have been doing a great job today, and I just had a great time. Again, the theme for 2018 is to grind and to work hard. So I enjoy traveling, and I enjoy working with the David Dober clan for sure, because they are amazing amazing people. I know it's not for everybody. They're not as kid friendly as a lot of our content. And I always suggest that if you have kids that watch YouTube, make sure you know what they are watching. And if you don't approve of that type of content, then don't let them watch it. For me, I absolutely love these guys because they're genuine. They're lighthearted. They have a great time and they enjoy when I bring animals around. So we had a really good time. Not to mention, I'm going to be honest with you, to spend the day with Noah and just travel has been amazing. I love that kid and he is so much fun to be around. So this has been a really Really great and fun day for me and I cannot wait to get home and see what's going on back at the shop. So I am back here at BHB. It's pretty late at night and I'm definitely exhausted. It's definitely been a 19 hour travel day but what a good time we had today. I did want to check up on one thing that I forgot to update you guys on and of course that was Vera Day. Remember I tried the smell and I tried the smell scented rodent. Well I hate to say it she still didn't eat. I cannot believe little Vera Day. She is being such a little stinker but that's okay. Look at she looks amazing still. She doesn't look wrinkled. She doesn't look thin. She doesn't look anything. Uh, again, I'm going to continue to try some different things. I've been talking to everyone I know and you guys have been giving me some great options as well. So we will get her going. I'm not that terribly worried about it. I just want her to eat so she could start getting big regardless. It's been an amazing day and I'm going to go ahead and shut things down because I definitely need some rest. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You guys mean the world to me and I love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors please can you smash that like button as well as hit that post notification bell so you know when I upload a video which is every day seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time remember to be kind to someone today and I promise I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow